What is going on guys? Chetty CRC back with it here on the channel. And oh my Odin, Helio RC is just dropping a bomb on us with this firmware. It is just great. Don't worry, keep watching. You're not going to see more of the usual boring flights that I have. I actually start doing some things that made me kind of proud. Doing some tricks that I had never done before. But I just wanted to play this through logs for these flights and plasma tree stuff is going to be in the description below just wanted to show this right here this was the last flight before my last pit adjustment and you can see we're flying directly into the sun no oscillations at all everything is just super smooth and super controlled just awesome it's just great like, I'm so pumped. I burned through about 11, 12 packs tonight just kind of playing with things with the plasma tree and everything like that. Black box logs. I've done pretty much all of this on myself, on my own. There has been a little bit of help from Slack and stuff, but I am pretty stoked. So, this is on the Impulse, CC, Impulse RC Reverb 4S 1500 2306. 2400 KV Master Pilots, multi shot 32K, 32K, overclocked to 216 megahertz. And man, I don't know, that's just a lot of words. So I just wanted you to see this flight GoPro, native color, flat color, ND filter, of course. Um, so this is as raw as it gets as far as the video goes. So let me show you the PIDs that I'm at right now in filters and then we'll get on to the final flight of the day and we'll join it like halfway through so that way you don't have to watch me doing the boring stuff so these are my current PIDs using profile number two in the Odin beta release which is the Butterfly PID controller so you can see just how high I am up on my yaws and everything like that, these are pretty low. But using the plasma tree uh, pit analyzer, I just kept following the graphs and following the instructions, doing the black box logs. A little bit of a pain in the neck with the Helio because it's not a card, so it doesn't create an individual log each time you take one. So you kind of got to bring it in, download it, unless I just don't know how to do that. So by no means am I an expert at this, but I think I have achieved some pretty awesome results and I just am pretty excited to share them with you. When I definitely have this locked in a little bit more and know what I'm doing and know how to explain it to you a little bit better, I will come back with some kind of videos just to explain the process. But until then, everything uh, is going to be in the description if you want to take a look at the analytics and everything from the flights. Here are my filter adjustments that I have made and everything is pretty much right there at stock level. Uh, this right here at IMUF Yaw Q should actually say 2500 but since I brought that up on my PC instead of my Mac it's a little off but it is at 2500 when I hook it up to the proper configurator. So let's get to this flight here at the end of the night. All right, so let's jump in here and take a look at what's going on with this last flight of the day. This is with the PIDs that I showed you, and there's just, you know, very little corrections that are going on when I'm making my hard turns and, you know, hard 180s or whatever. You know, like right here, there's just like nothing there. There's no no stutter or no stopping or no bouncing or nothing like that at all. It's just so funny. It feels like it's going so slow compared to how fast you actually feel behind the goggles. But when I get going here towards the, the middle to the end of the pack, I start doing like you know, split S's with some like double and triple rolls and everything like that and just kind of getting, you know, like that right there, that was, that's, you know, connecting a couple tricks together, something that I've never really done before. I'm just kind of like, you know, just cruising around, just checking things out, 
just super smooth and just so much control and authority being able to turn up those gains just so much and uh, not have really any consequences I mean the defaults are just like great nobody will, would even know that has it's brand new to the hobby or hasn't flown a whole lot but this is just you know the potential that you have that once you get better and you know what you're looking for like that stop right there like usually I have to come to almost like a dead stop going forward and I was able to just carry speed around that corner no problem but I'm just flowing and just feeling it and just loving it and anyway I'll just quit talking and you guys can watch the rest of the video if you want give me some feedback take a look at those logs if you uh, want to help help me out a little bit you know I'm not the expert tuner for sure um, I don't really know if there is such a thing these days because you might know one ecosystem but you might know nothing about the other ones even though you might pretend like you do so anyway guys thanks talk to you later